Thank you so much for watching and listening to Using Your Gift from God for God and others as we dive into this. We're going to be looking at a passage of scripture from 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 9 through 11. I know you're already turning there, but let's pray together before you go to 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 9 through 11. God, we are thankful for your word. We are thankful that you give us gifts to be able to use to bless others, to be able to use to accomplish your sovereign will, that you package us together, create us together in such a way that we are unique and like none other. Yet still, when we work together with our gifts, the body of Christ and the church begins to just fulfill your will on this earth. We love you, Lord. Bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's take a look and listen here to the one thing as we're talking about using your gift from God. Everybody has at least one. But the one thing is biblical good is done in Jesus' name shows God's grace. So biblical good done in Jesus' name shows God's grace grace. So how do you begin to do biblical good? One way that we accomplish that is gifts of the Spirit, which is not to be confused with with fruits of the Spirit. But the gifts of the Spirit, um, they're from God, they're under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit is the one that sort of delves out by God's direction those gifts to everyone. Gifts are given to us to build up and mature the church, the body of Christ, um, Christians everywhere. So you have at least one gift. Some people have multiple gifts, but we all have a gift that comes. Now, these gifts come in and through um, salvation. That's the first step, right? Um, Grace is a free gift from God through no works of our own. You are saved by grace through faith. So in order to fully use the gift that God's given you, you can't go around Jesus. You can't hopscotch over uh, salvation. You must dive deep into redemption from Jesus Christ. You must confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. Romans 10, 9 and 10. So if you want to talk about how to use your gifts, uh, your, your, your talents, those things that you just can do well for the Lord, you must be saved. You have to surrender yourself to him and go, God, forgive me for all of my sins. God, save my soul. Use me in the way that you've created for me to be used. Give me the purpose that you've always desired for me to have since before the foundations of the earth. So God, we ask these things for the salvation of those who would hear, that those who are with us, those that we work with and live next to. So when you, when you dive into these gifts and you start thinking about using there are people who use gifts for themselves. They use it for others. Um, they use it um, not at all. They just hide it and lock it away or they want some other gift and they snag that and they don't use their own. We, we all get that, right? Somebody else has got something we want. Instead of using what we have and enjoying it, we yearn and discern after something else. But let me talk about gifts a little bit more here of the Spirit. They, they are gifts of grace. This is from Thomas Schreiner. He says, the gifts of the Spirit are gifts of grace granted by the Holy Spirit and are designed for the edification, the building up, the maturing of the church, which can be divided up as gifts of speaking and gifts of serving. Now the gifts of speaking and serving are are sort of divided out into two different places. Now you can find the gifts in the New Testament described in Romans 12, 6 through 8, 1 Corinthians 12, 7 through 10, 1 Corinthians 12, 28, Ephesians 4, 11. So when we're talking about the gifts of speaking, listen because one of these might resonate with you. One of these might be like the Holy Spirit's going, that's you, get saved. Or, that's you, you're saved. Let's start using that more for the Lord. And gifts of speaking include apostleship, prophecy, teaching, evangelism, exhortation, discerning spirits, speaking in tongues, and interpreting tongues. Or the gifts of service include leadership, helps, mercy, giving, faith, healing, miracles. So there are are so many that are listed. Now in these passages of scriptures, when we're thinking about doing biblical good, which is the only good we should ever do, we shouldn't do self good, we shouldn't do humanist good, we shouldn't do good just as we define good is, we should do biblical good to get that done in Jesus' name shows God's grace. We need to remember that. 
And when we're looking at these, it tells us, one, to use our gifts, what? Out of love. It tells us not only to use our gifts out of love, but not to think of gifts too highly, like our gift's the best gift, or you can't be a part of this group unless you have this gift, or too lowly. Oh, my gift isn't as good or as flashy as somebody else's gift, so therefore I'm not going to use it. Or or my gift, I don't know how to use it, so I'm going to hide it away. And the scripture speaks strong about that. We all are given gifts. We're all given abilities and tools by God under the Lordship of Jesus through the Holy Spirit to live and serve and accomplish God's sovereign will for the planet, for his people, for people on the planet.